Hello there, I'm Shane Malach from Thrive Themes and in this update I just want to answer a question that we have gotten recently a couple of times, which is about Project Gutenberg. So in case you're not familiar, the Automatic team, which is the team that builds WordPress, has been working on a what they call a live editor or visual editor or something like that called Project Gutenberg. And of course, because our main product, Thrive Architect, is also a visual editor, some people have asked us, you know, what's going to happen here? Is this going to impact Thrive Architect in some way? What is the future of Thrive Architect in a world in which Project Gutenberg exists? So the short answer is no, Project Gutenberg will not impact what we do. Uh, here you can see what it looks like right now. So it is kind of a visual editor, but it is not a front-end editor, meaning that what you see, what you're editing looks like a web page, but it doesn't look like the page your visitors will see. It's still a representation of that. It has some extra features. You can put in sections. It doesn't have drag and drop. You can change the order of blocks, but it's not actually a drag and drop editor. It has some very, very limited, almost column functionality, but you can't really do column layouts. And in many ways, basically, this is a different skin on the same functionality that you have in the default WordPress editor. What I mean by that is that while the usability, the way you use the editor is different, in terms of what you can do with it, in terms of the functionality and the features, it's only a very small step forward from the default WordPress editor. And that's the main reason why I don't see this impacting our work in any way in the near future. One way to think about this is that if Project Gutenberg was not developed by Automatic and it was not going to be part of WordPress core, if this entered the market as a third-party plugin, it would not stand a chance in the current space of visual editors for WordPress. If it was a premium product, I don't think anyone would buy it. And even as a free plugin, I don't think it compares well to other free visual editors, even some very simple ones that are available for free. So I don't think this could survive in its current state in a free market, right? It's, it's only because it has the backing of WordPress that it's getting the attention that it has. Now the current status of Project Gutenberg or where it stands is a bit unclear because first of all, it's been in beta and you can try it out yourself and it hasn't been very well received. And there's also some technical issues. So it uses a framework called React, which is developed by Facebook. And there was some legal stuff going on and then Automatic decided not to use React anymore. So they're rewriting parts of it and that delays the project. And so it was meant to be in the next update of WordPress, but that's unclear now whether it's going to be the next one or in the later one. And even so, you know, whenever this is released in its current state, it's simply not something that competes with a real visual editor. Now it's possible that over time it will be developed and expanded and made a lot more powerful. And so maybe at some point down the line, it will be something where we look at maybe integrating some of our tools with it or something like that. But I highly doubt it. It would be very uncharacteristic for Automatic to develop something that is more than just like a very basic foundational tool. That's simply how they tend to do things, right? They tend to keep things very, very simple. And so I doubt that this will ever turn into, you know, a serious visual editor or website builder compared to something like Thrive Architect. So my take on this is that, you know, it's an interesting project. It might make some, some things a bit easier for, you know, beginners who start with WordPress and don't have a premium editor yet. But I doubt that our paths will ever cross, right? I doubt that there will ever be any kind of serious crossover or even serious competition between Thrive Architect and Gutenberg. So that's my, my quick update on that. I'd also love to know your thoughts. Maybe you've tried it out. Let me know what you think of Gutenberg. Let me know what you think of our take on this so far. Thanks for watching. You can leave a comment below and I'll catch you in the next one.